I'm Leon Todd for G66. Welcome to another Tuesday Tone Tip. On today's video, I want to pass on a little tip about dialing in the Fender amp models on the Axe FX3, the so-called Magic 6 settings that have been circulating through guitar circles for quite a while now. To do this, I've got my old Strat plugged straight into the Axe FX3. We're going to use the double verb vibrato model based on a Fender Twin. I have a trio of cab IRs that I'm blending together here, all based on this factory 2x12 double verb cab, one shot with an SM57, one shot with a Royal 121, and one shot with this 313 mic, but from the rear of the cab, just to give it a bit of kind of roomy ambience. I also have the recording Studio C reverb with one second of reverb time and the mix at 10%. To get started, let's just hear the amp at stock settings on the neck pickup of my old Strat. This particular guitar has Sir Michael Landau pickups in it. So we're getting some grit in there. When I play softly, it's nice and clean and chimey, but it does start to break up really, really quickly. And it's a little bit kind of tubby in the low end. So the so-called Magic 6 settings on a Fender amp like this refer to setting the treble to six, the drive to six, the bass to two, and the middle to three. And the way you remember that this is Magic 6 is at two, times three equals six. The only difference between a real world Fender Twin and the model we have in the Axe FX3 is that on our model, all of these controls go all the way down to zero and all the way up to 10, whereas the real world amplifier goes from one to 10. So if we do wanna do this accurately, we need to just slightly tweak our conversion. If you look at the Fractal Wiki, someone has already done this and I will link that in the video description. But basically for Magic 6 on the Axe FX, we are gonna go slightly lower with all of these controls. So bass will be 1.11, middle will be 2.22, treble will be 5.55 and drive will also be 5.55. You could just put in six, two, three, and six. That is gonna to work totally fine. After all, this is meant as a starting point to help you basically just get somewhere you can leap off to dial in the sort of tone you're chasing. Let's have a listen to this with these Magic 6 Axe FX version settings. <laughs> To my ears anyway, that has way more of that classic Fender combo sound going on. Hearing it next to the stock settings where we had a whole bunch more bass, it does sound a little bit thinner sounding. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. And you can apply this tip to basically any Fender that has a bass, middle and treble control on here. Personally, for my choice, I might actually turn the bass up a little bit just with this particular guitar and the mids up a little bit. Again, just to suit my guitar. If I was using a guitar with humbuckers, I would probably actually bring those controls down slightly as well as the drive. So let's hear the neck pickup again now that I've tweaked that and also give you the neck and middle, my personal favorite combo on a Strat. That's gonna sound way more chimey. <laughs> I really like the kind of gritty high mids and high end in there. It's not sharp or piercing. It just has a whole bunch of character in there. It sounds very bluesy to me. Another amp model to try this with is the Super Reverb model. So I'm gonna use a Super Verb Vibrato. Same starting point for our so-called Magic 6 in there. Let's hear this one. Again, neck pickup and then neck and middle. <laughs> Thank you. 
I really, really like the way this super reverb sounds. And what would be super fun here would be to add a drive pedal in the front. You know, the obvious choice would be something like a tube screamer. I'm going to use the new Valve Screamer VS9 model in here. And I'm actually going to turn the tone down quite a bit because I am using a Strat and I will just bring the level up a little bit. I want to go for sort of like a bluesy tone with this. Let's hear it. <laughs> That feels really good under the fingers. To my ears, that's the sort of thing I would start with if I was gonna play over some blues or something like that. What I would also add in there while we're just kind of tweaking this preset a little bit would be a very, very subtle delay on here. We can use these sort of like Andy Timmons inspired delay settings on here. Let's do this. Let's use the stereo BBD delay type on here. I'm gonna set the mix to about 5%. I'm gonna set the ratio to 75% on here with very little feedback. We'll go for about 5% feedback on here. This is just to add a little bit of ambience in there without getting in the way. Let's hear this now. <laughs> Again, that delay is very subtle. The reverb is very subtle. And these amp settings, again, as a starting point, are perfect to leap off if you're using a single coil guitar in here. We can also try some different cabinet IRs in here. Uh, the factory number one, what is this, 965, 2x12 double verb, 58. Matt, shout out to the one and only Matt Pacone. I'm pretty sure this is an IR Matt made. Let's hear this with the super reverb. <laughs> I love the way that one sounds. And an IR that I made of a Boogie 4x12 that had some Electro Voice speakers in it works pretty well too. I'm pretty sure I've shared this one on the forum. <laughs> nice as well. Another drive you could try is the Tone of Kings. I love the way that one sounds. Basically anything in the drive block is probably going to work well with these particular settings. Tone of Kings like to crank up the drive and the level. Let's hear it. <laughs> we could try a fuzz. I'm really partial to the face fuzz in here. Just crank the drive and the level. I'll actually play you all out with this. Let me know how you like these so-called Magic 6 settings on some of the fenders in the Axe FX3, FM9, and FM3. I will link a bunch of resources in the video description for you all, and I hope you all have a fantastic week. I will see you next Tuesday for another Tuesday Tone Tip. <laughs> Yeah.